Hey guys, I am doing a really quick glam look. It's gonna be super pink, hope you love it. I've got my ivory cream to powder foundation. I love it because it's super quick and super full coverage. Okay, so I'm going in with my translucent powder. What I love about this powder is it absorbs oil. And if you are like me, you are a total oil bank. So you're gonna see me put a lot of translucent powder like all over my face because I am going out and having a really active day with my fam, you know, just hanging out in the yard. Um, and I, I don't wanna be an oil bank. And then what I'm going to do afterwards, you'll see is something called baking. Okay, here we go. I have taken a good hunk of translucent powder. It kind of looks like I am dabbing flour under my eye. And what that is going to do is it's going to really set um, my under eye makeup so, you know, there aren't any creases and moving around or anything like that. And it also is going to brighten in the areas that I'm placing it. So I'm kind of doing anti-contouring right now, if that makes sense. So I'm going under the cheek area, under the eye, um, in the middle of the forehead, um, and then the chin. Because those are the areas you All want right, to so be I'm lighter going in whenever you add your contour. More cream to powder, obviously in a darker tone. The secret to like a really natural contour is just going like one or two steps under your natural skin tone you don't want to go like super super dark or you're gonna have you know a heck of a time blending it out and i don't like that over processed makeup look um it's not me personally so this is a really natural way to do it another super natural way is just to use bronzer plain and simple um but this is how i do it i make an e3 I do my cheekbone, I do on the other side of my nose, I do around the top of my forehead, and you can kind of see where that makes that little E3. And then you just go in and then you blend. I'm using the Mary Kay Foundation Blending Brush. It's an awesome brush for what we're doing. And as you see, it just kind of blends gracefully, really naturally, doesn't pull and tug the skin. It feels amazing. Okay, great. And then usually by the time I'm done with my contour, I have baked just enough so I can go in and blend in my translucent powder. And as you can see, I think I've got it mastered kind of down where it looks super natural. Um, and you know, there aren't any harsh lines or anything like that. So that's what I love, you know, just a really natural glow. And now what I'm doing is I have gotten um, our Wineberry Blush, actually, and that's going to be my eyeshadow today for my, what I like to call, super soft cut crease. It's a really trendy eye look right now.
Okay, great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going in with another crease brush and I am going to add a little bit of sweet plum in my crease line. And what that's really going to do is add like a lot of dimension and it's just going to give it like a really awesome look. It's super playful and fun. Okay, great. So now I'm going in with the Light Beam Liquid Eyeshadow. I love this so much. And what's really awesome is it's not like not like an instant dry. You can let it sit for a second and then move it around a little bit. I always let mine sit for just a second. That way they're semi-dry. And then I blend with either um, a brush or my finger. I love, love, love using it as a liquid highlighter. It gives it a really trendy glow. We have a great powder highlighter that's more subtle. Um, but when I'm doing a bold look, I love a bold highlighter. And this is a great, super flexible, glowing highlighter as well. I love that I can go in with a brush and really blend this out super well. It also works really well um, on my whenever you're using your finger to blend. I'm really comfortable with a brush in my hand. It's almost an extension of my hand to the point where I forget sometimes I'm holding the brush and using the brush. Pro tip, don't forget that it is an actual brush in your hand or you will do what I'm about to do. Yes, don't do that. Use your finger because now I have a mustache. <laughs> Use your finger or a clean brush to blend on your face. If you were going to do this, I'm human, I make mistakes. Sometimes I accidentally give myself a little, you know, mustache. <laughs>
Now I'm just going in with my all over brush. I really love making sure like I am super blended. Um, so I always kind of go in with my all over brush in between steps. Okie doke. So I love using our liquid eyeliner pen. And if you see, I think this is my best representation of how I do my eyeliner. I like to play connect the dots short little brush strokes that I connect and fill in gives me a really good line it doesn't feel goofy or look weird um, and it really helps me control the amount and the width of the eyeliner that way that doesn't get out of hand Okay, great. So now what I'm doing is I'm applying a little bit of Sweet Plum underneath my lash line. I love the little dimension it gives. It really kind of carries over the eye look and really completes it to the whole eye. Okay, yay! It is time for some bronzer and all I do is I kind of pop that right over where I contoured earlier I love this bronzer it's got a little bit of highlight a little bit of bronzer it's just the happy medium of them both and I love how natural sun-kissed it makes me look it makes me so happy it's a limited edition right now and I love the limited edition palette it comes with it's a magnetic magnetic palette I'm gonna show you in just a second I love the mirror in it. It is perfect size. It came right out of my clutch earlier. Okay, now we are going to tame those brows. I know they're wild. I'm going to do a little lash primer interruption. Sometimes I do this um, in between steps. I like letting my lash primer dry on my eyelashes sometimes in place of using um, an eyelash curler. I love doing this because it really helps lengthen and separate my eyelashes. And once that primer has set on my eyelashes, they like stay separated. Going in for brows with the brow defining pencil. Y'all look how fine that tip is. Like you can almost not even see it. Now what I use this for is to go in and kind of semi fill in, but mostly frame my lashes. Um, I use that super fine tip in light feathery brush strokes, that way it's super natural. Just that quick and easy, like for real. Okay, great. Now the second and final part of my brows is going in with a little brow tint. It has like this little mascara wand. And what's really cool about it is it's a tint with fibers in it that adhere to the actual brow hair. So it gives you that fuller filled in look. 
if you're like me, mine are a little sparse in the middle there. And what it does is it just kind of fills in and it helps me get the trendy look that we've got right now that's super popular. I love that it's super easy. That mascara-like tip helps so much when it comes to taming the brows and really applying to the hairs instead of the skin. This is my Lash Lengthening Mascara. So fun. I love this mascara. I love the shape of the brush. It's curved and it's spiky. It really lets me get all those little hairs and little lashes. <laughs> it happens guys and when this happens to you um, especially when you're using a Mary Kay mascara just let it dry I'm gonna show you exactly how I clean it up and I seriously barely have to do any damage control so just let it dry continue on about your day we let it roll off our back like a duck like don't even sweat the crazy things that happen to us and you know, something else I love about Mary Kay mascaras, they're enriched with vitamin B3. And if you don't know, vitamin B3 is something that makes hair grow. So how about a mascara that not only performs, but helps grow your lashes? I'm going in now with my Lash Intensity Mascara. That is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I love pairing it with the Lash Lengthening because the Lash Intensity has long and short bristles. And if you can't tell, it gives amazing volume and fullness. When I use this mascara just on its own, um, about five coats, it looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes. I try not to be that heavy every day, but y'all, I love mascara. I do. I love it so, so much. Okay, y'all, it is time to fix. I'm grabbing a Q-tip really quick, and this is just a dry Q-tip. And you can see I'm just gently rolling it over that little bit of mascara. There we go. Look, minimal damage. Isn't that amazing? Because what's worse than working that hard on your makeup? Damaging it. Perfect.
Here's another pro tip for you. I always, always, always end my mascara look with another layer of primer. It helps keep my lashes separated, clump free, and what I love about it is it helps resist any smudging and it helps make my mascara long wear and almost waterproof. Great, going in with lip primer right now. It moisturizes the lips, it helps fill in any fine lines, wrinkles, and it helps make your lipstick last all day long. I love this. And it's really just so smooth, you don't even feel anything there. And I love a lip that I don't feel. Going in with our brand new, and this is full line, Trademark Pink. I just kind of line my lip with the very top tip of that lipstick. That's something I love to do in lieu of a lip liner. I have lots of fun lip liners that I really do love, but most of the time I just go on a lipstick because, well, while I may not look it, I try to be super basic. <laughs> And we're done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is super easy, super duplicatable, and let me know what you think. You guys have an amazing day.